This episode of the Brilliance Plus Passion podcast is brought to you by Groundhog Day is an event, not a business strategy. Are you ready to finally solve those pesky issues that keep holding back your business success and never seem to go away? Embrace the power of the spring formula that unearths the issues and opportunities burrowed beneath the surface and grow your business so you thrive from your intersection of your brilliance and your passion. Claim your copy today at www.thegroundhogbook.com. Welcome to the Brilliance Plus Passion Podcast. Join us as we celebrate entrepreneurs, business creators, and brilliant minds who reveal what they are doing to make the world a better place by being part of it. Be sure to visit our website at www.brilliancepluspassion.com. While you're there, subscribe to us via your favorite network. Now sit back, lean in, tune in, get your notepad and two pens ready, and let's get started. My name is Adam Homey. I'm your host, and I am honored by your wise decision to tune in and invest in yourself today. I'm here with our co-host, Princess Alessandra Francesca, who our listeners and followers know join us joins us for just about every episode. The Brilliance Plus Passion Project is about spotlighting folks who make the world a better place by being part of it and by their contributions to it. And today, we have one of those folks who I've uh, had the opportunity to get to know here, and I'm looking forward to a conversation. Her name is Jacqueline Sisson. She is a master relationship coach and an empowerment alignment life coach in the field of coaching before there were any for over 40 years. And she will tell you more about how she serves the world in just a second. But first, let's meet her. Jacqueline, welcome aboard. Come on in. Well, thank you. I'm delighted to be here. All right. So as our listeners know, we have a 10-question format here. And the purpose of this is to enable those who are tuning in today to get to know you, not only for how you can serve them, but also for you as an individual. But let's start with the work. How does the work you do make the world a better place for your clients, customers, and the world at large? Well, Adam, I like to think of myself as a difference maker. When I see a client, whether it's an individual or whether it's a um, a couple, by me touching their life, giving them information they desperately need, it changes their life. They, in turn, change their partner's life. And in turn to that, their children's lives, their family's lives, their friends' lives, and overall, one by one, we hopefully will touch the world. And you told us, your, we, you told me a bit about your titles, but tell me what it is you actually do. I get that, uh, I get the coaching piece of it, but tell me a bit more about how that works and what the, what the deliverables are. Well, what the deliverables are is a soulmate relationship. Okay. I'm a master relationship coach. Uh-huh. And what I love to do is educate my clients on the power that they themselves can impact on their relationships, whether it's their children, their partners, their family, no matter what, we're all in relationships of one kind or another. And so what I help them do is to make a difference in those relationships accept responsibility Uh and um, go along and learn about forgiveness, about unconditional love. And it does create soulmate relationships. I think you finally got Alessandra to sit still and pay attention. Awesome. So in your experience, what are a few of the common questions that people in general have when they're they're asking you about what you do? Like we'll say the FAQs. Okay. Um, Most of the time I get asked, is this true? Is there such a thing as a soulmate relationship? I get that a lot. Secondly, can this marriage be saved? How can this marriage be saved? (laughs) And thirdly, is there any hope for us? Is there any hope for me? Those are my most asked questions. All right. What do you wish people would ask? 
Oh, boy. Well, <laughs> honestly, something wonderful for them to ask me is, what can I do to change? What can I do to learn to forgive? And also letting go of their ego and their need to be right and just being willing to be real with me on their journey. Great. So let's shift gears. And this is the part where we ask you a few things that help our listeners get to know you better. So first of all, what would people who know you be surprised to learn about you? <sighs> That I walk with wolves. Wolves? I walk with wolves, yes. You hear that, Alessandra? Wolves. Go on. Yes. Um, i got to tell you, it's the best experience of my life. When we were living in Colorado, uh, in Colorado Springs, they have, uh, it's called the Valley of the Gods. And okay. it is a mountain. And I found out quite by accident that you actually can go and walk with the wolves there. They are in a um, kind of like a uh, interior where they're kept and everything, but their wildness is still in them. They're like yeah, 83 to 87 percent wise, wild. Yeah. And what I love about that is going up the mountains with them and watching them because they know what's ahead before we do. Yeah. They let us know if people is up ahead. They let us know if it's an animal up ahead because they know all these things by instinct. And I love it. I love the smell of them. I just love wolves. Wow. I've never encountered a wolf. Well, I have met wolf dogs. and yeah. uh, But I did have an encounter with a coyote once when I was growing up and walking around in, in the woods. I saw this very interesting looking dog. I walked up to the dog, I, I pet him for a little while, and then he sort of walked off. And I described this dog later, said, uh, that was a coyote. And uh, that, coyote let, that coyote lets you pet him, which means he was probably rabid. It's like, <laughs> cool. <laughs> How old were you? I had to have been no more than 10. I, 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 I mean, I'd, I'd heard of coyotes, and I knew that they made their howling sound. I heard the howling sound, but I'd never seen oh, yeah. one in person. Yeah. yeah. They're quite uh, the creator. They know how to catch their game, and they know what to do with it. Yeah. So all wolves, coyotes, and canines aside, what do you hope people say about you when you're not around to hear it? The greatest compliment I could ever have, Adam, is that she was a woman of God mm -hmm. and that she was a difference maker in every life she touched. She genuinely cared and loved people and wanted the best for them. That makes a lot of sense. And there are so many folks, unfortunately, who will unlikely have that said about them given their current choices. And I'd like to see more people make those choices. So yeah. if you could, yeah, if you could go back in time and change one thing you've done, one thing that's happened, one thing you've experienced, what would it be and why? Well, this is kind of a sore spot, to be honest with you, but I am going to be vulnerable. Please. And tell the truth. And that is, when I first married my husband, I was still very injured and in the state of unforgiveness. And okay. unfortunately, my husband and my children suffered because of the way I could not, the anger I had in me, I couldn't let it go. Mm -hmm. And I did, I believe, unreparable harm to them. But hopefully now, they say I'm a different woman. Yeah. And my prayer now is that somewhere along the line that they'll they already have forgiven me but they will um appreciate the life i live yeah well and i gotta and i gotta tell you that is you've made a journey that so many others have failed to or have not found the, their own power 
to be able to, to say something like that, to look at something like that and have that level of self-awareness to be able to not only acknowledge that, but embrace that. It should be commended. Oh, thank you, Alan. Thank yeah, you. There, there are some, there, there's so many folks I see walking around in the world who, if they would just make that transition, it You're could right. make the second half of their life so much more. You're just so right. more. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What famous person, alive or dead, would you like to meet? And if you had the opportunity, what question would you have for them? I would love to meet Jesus. And if this was the family feud, that would be the number one answer. That's and, definitely the one you'd want to say in fast money. And what I would what I would like to ask him is what does he think of what's going on in our world today? And I would ask him if there's anything I could do in any way to make a difference. Yeah. You know, uh, if somebody were to ask me that question, uh, I'm not sure if Jesus would be number one, but he'd be, certainly be one of them. And as I and as I said, if we were to make a spreadsheet of everybody who's answered that question through this project, yeah. Jesus comes out number one with a red dot bullet beside him. I mean, that's how many people said Jesus. Sure. My curiosity would be for him to explain the differences between what actually happened versus how it was told in the Bible. I want to see how <laughs> folks who did not have the vocabulary we had today yeah. were able to describe what pretty clearly, at least to me, are descriptions of supernatural events and mm -hmm. interactions with beings outside of our galaxy. Mm -hmm. And what I really want to know is if it's really if it's really factual, that story I heard about him, about that time he went to a bar with his buddies uh, saying that he'd, 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 he'd get the drinks, no problem. And as soon as he showed up, he said, Dag Nabbit forgot my wallet. So when the server came, said, oh, we'll just have water, thanks. And he turned to his buddies and said, watch this. <laughs> water into wine? Uh-huh. Because because I because I, I understand it has something to do with a wedding feast, but I have a funny feeling <laughs> that was actually the story. And this was a little little bit of Jesus saying, Oh, watch this. <laughs> I love Don't it. worry about it. you want Merlot? <laughs> Cabernet? All right, I got gotcha. you. Awesome. And, awesome. and 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 yeah, I know the thing is, is um I don't feel this is sacrilege at all because you know when you feel a personal relationship with Jesus, you have to remember he was both God and man. Yes, so he had all the human characteristics, which means he had the um, the attitudes, he had the moods, he had the natural urges that men have. Yes, he did. And being able to show off the ability to change drinks by pointing at them, hey, if I had that power, <laughs> I'd want everybody to know. I bet you would. <laughs> I would. I would. I would create like a like an, a, a collection of Instagram rules where I just go around to random people, pointing at their drinks and turning them into something else. You know, you're awesome. <laughs> I, I got to tell you and be honest with you, that has never crossed my mind. Well, <laughs> but it has now. Yeah. Well, so Jacqueline, what motivates and inspires you to keep going when you're having a tough time or facing a challenge? Well, I would say number one, God, and uh -huh. um, and He does that through my gratitudes. I have a gratitude journal, uh -huh. which you're going to be hearing about later. And yep. what I do with that every day, I list things that I'm genuinely grateful for. It can be the smallest thing, like waking yeah. up to see the sunrise, mm -hmm. and that certainly dispels a lot of um, aggravation that could come into my life because we all can be aggravated and disappointed. But when those times come, I go back to my, to my journal and I read it and I think, this is who I am. This is who I'm becoming. And this is where I want to stay centered, Adam. Yeah. I agree. I agree. So finally, and I know you have a gift for our listeners that we're going to share, and I'm going to share that for you, but I'm going to ask in general, what is one thing you urge our listeners to do as soon as they finish streaming this within the next minute or so? Do you know what I'd encourage them to do? Look inward. Okay. Who, who are they? Are they where do they want to be in their life? And if not, reach out. 
there are capable people that is there to help you on your journey and it can change your life. Yeah. All right. So for everybody who is listening to this now, who does not see it on our companion YouTube video channel or on our website, I'm going to say the link out loud. Well, actually, I'm going to tell you, I'm just going to tell you how to search. But I'm going to display the link on the screen. For everybody else, simply go to the notes on this episode and scroll down. What you're going to do is you're going to go to Facebook and you're going to search for Jacqueline Sisson. That's J-A-C-Q-U-E-L-I-N-E. Her last name is Sisson, S-I-S-S-O-N. You're going to go to that profile. You're going to follow her. You're going to tell her you heard her on the Brilliance Plus Passion Project in the DMs. And in that DM, you're going to say two things overall. You're going to say, A, love you on Brilliance Plus Passion. B, can I please get my copy of your 30-day prompted journal? Yes. So, th so it's going to be a two-sentence DM. You're not going to send uh, a mile of copy pasta or anything like that. You're going to say, love you on Brilliance Plus Passion. And yes. can I please have my 30-day pr prompted journal? The prompted mm -hmm. journal is a tool that Jacqueline's created where it prompts you through a series of questions that help you on journeys like we've discussed here today. So yes. again, find her on Facebook and do that. And with that, Jacqueline Sisson, thank you so much for being with us today. It's been an honor and believe me, in education. Adam, you are you are just a darling. I love you and I love your kitty more. <laughs> <laughs> Take care of you, sir. Thank you for tuning into the Brilliance Plus Passion podcast, where we celebrate entrepreneurs, business creators, and brilliant minds who are making a difference for their community, market, and audience. Remember to visit our website at www.brilliancepluspassion.com and enjoy even more great episodes like this one. Again, while you're here, subscribe to us via your favorite network. We look forward to seeing you next time on the Brilliance Plus Passion Podcast.